In the rich tapestry of ancient Egyptian mythology, Duamatef emerges as a deity of significant reverence and power. His name, meaning, he who adores his mother, is a testament to the deep cultural connections Egyptians made between divinity, kinship, and the natural world. Duamatef is most commonly known for his role as one of the four sons of Horus, a quartet of gods entrusted with the protection of the deceased's internal organs, which were vital for the afterlife journey. Duamatef, depicted with the head of a jackal, was specifically tasked with safeguarding the stomach of the deceased. This role was of utmost importance, as the ancient Egyptians believed that maintaining the integrity of the body and its internal organs was crucial for the rebirth and well-being of the soul in the afterlife. The stomach, associated with nourishment and sustenance, was symbolically significant, and its protection by Duamatef was seen as vital for the eternal life of the soul. In the broader context of Egyptian mythology, Duamatef's responsibilities extended beyond the mere physical safeguarding of the stomach. He was believed to be a pillar of Shu, representing one of the four pillars that held up the sky. This association places Duamatef in the cosmic framework of Egyptian religious belief, symbolizing stability and balance in the universe. Moreover, Duamatef was also known as a rudder of heaven, a title indicating his influence over the journey of souls and the celestial movements. His connection to the east, a direction associated with rebirth and renewal due to the sunrise, further reinforces his role in the cyclical nature of life and the afterlife in Egyptian thought. Throughout the period from 400 to 30 BC, Duamatef, along with the other sons of Horus, played a significant role in the funerary practices of Egypt. Their images, often depicted on canopic jars which housed the preserved organs of the deceased, were a common feature in tombs, serving as protectors and guides for the soul in its journey to the afterlife. Duamatef's veneration highlights the ancient Egyptians' profound understanding of the interconnectedness of life, death, and the cosmos. His worship, deeply rooted in the love and protection of the motherland, mirrors the eternal cycle of life and death, emphasizing the belief in rebirth and eternal life. By understanding these ancient beliefs and practices, we gain a deeper appreciation of our past, recognizing the timeless quest for meaning and continuity beyond our mortal existence. This enduring legacy of Duamatef illuminates the ancient Egyptians' deep-seated reverence for the natural order and the deities' roles within it. His connection to the East, embodying the dawn and the promise of renewal, was not just symbolic but also a guiding principle in the daily lives of the Egyptians. It represented a profound understanding of the cycles of life, death, and rebirth, an understanding that was intricately woven into their religious and cultural fabric. Duamatef's role in the funerary practices was not merely a matter of ritual. It was a crucial aspect of ensuring a safe passage and a prosperous afterlife for the departed soul. The ancient Egyptians believed that the journey to the afterlife was fraught with perils, and the protection offered by Duamatef and his brethren was indispensable. Their presence in the tombs and on the canopic jars served as a constant reminder of the protective embrace of the gods, even in the most uncertain journey of all the journey after death. The story of Duamatef also speaks to a broader theme in ancient Egyptian religion, the seamless integration of daily life, nature, and the divine. The Egyptians did not see the gods as distant or detached, instead, they were intimately connected to the world around them and played an active role in the natural and spiritual order of the universe. This harmonious balance between the human, natural, and divine realms is a cornerstone of ancient Egyptian theology and offers a window into their worldview. In reflecting on the legacy of Duamatef, we are reminded of the richness and depth of ancient Egyptian culture. Their beliefs, practices, and deities offer profound insights into how they perceive the world and their place within it. The reverence for Duamatef and his role in the afterlife underscores the Egyptians' sophisticated understanding of life's cyclical nature and the importance of harmony between the physical and spiritual realms. By delving into the past and exploring the beliefs and practices of ancient civilizations like Egypt, we gain not only knowledge but also wisdom. Understanding the past enriches our perspective on the present and guides us towards a more enlightened future. The story of Duamatef is a testament to the enduring human quest for meaning, connection, and continuity, a quest that transcends time and continues to inspire us today. The influence of Duamatef extends beyond the confines of ancient mortuary practices, seeping into the very ethos of Egyptian culture. His embodiment as a jackal, an animal both revered and feared in Egyptian society, symbolizes the duality of existence, the interplay of life and death, creation and destruction. This duality was not seen as conflicting but as complementary forces, integral to the natural order and the cosmic balance. In the broader context of Egyptian mythology, Duamatef's role as a rudder of heaven presents an intriguing aspect of ancient Egyptian cosmology. 
The Egyptians viewed the heavens not just as a distant realm but as a dynamic and integral part of their world, guiding the seasons, the flooding of the Nile, and the journey of the sun. Duamatef, in his celestial role, was believed to steer these cosmic forces, ensuring the continual flow of life and the maintenance of Ma'at, the principle of order and balance. This deep connection with the cosmos is further reflected in Duamatef's association with the east and the sunrise. Each morning, the sun's rebirth was a powerful symbol of hope, renewal, and the triumph of life over death. In this way, Duamatef was not just a protector in death but also a harbinger of life, embodying the eternal cycle of the sun and its life-giving energy. The reverence for Duamatef and the other sons of Horus also speaks to the Egyptian understanding of the human body and its spiritual significance. The careful preservation of the internal organs, each guarded by a specific deity, reflects a belief system that saw the physical body as a vessel for the eternal soul. This holistic view of the human being, integrating the physical, spiritual, and divine, was a hallmark of Egyptian thought. In modern times, the legacy of Duamatef continues to captivate and inspire. His image, often found in museums and collections worldwide, serves as a poignant reminder of the ancient Egyptians' ingenuity, spirituality, and artistic excellence. By studying figures like Duamatef, we gain not only historical knowledge but also a deeper understanding of human belief systems, artistic expressions, and the quest for meaning beyond the material world. In embracing the wisdom of the past, embodied in deities like Duamatef, we enrich our understanding of the present and forge a deeper connection with our ancestors. The ancient Egyptians, through their intricate mythology and profound beliefs, offer timeless lessons on the interconnectedness of life, the importance of harmony with nature, and the enduring human spirit. As we continue to explore and learn from ancient cultures, we find not only historical knowledge but also timeless wisdom that guides our journey through life. The story of Duamatef, interwoven with the fabric of ancient Egyptian mythology, offers a compelling narrative of resilience and reverence. His presence in the pantheon was not just a matter of religious significance but also a reflection of the Egyptians' understanding and appreciation of the natural world and its cyclical rhythms. In Duamatef, the Egyptians found a symbol of protection and guidance, a deity who stood as a sentinel over the physical and spiritual well-being of the individual. Duamatef's guardianship over the stomach, an organ central to the sustenance of life, highlights the Egyptians' sophisticated understanding of the human body. This reverence for the body's physical aspects, seen as integral to the soul's journey, underscores a profound respect for the sanctity of life and the mysteries of death. The ancient Egyptians did not fear death. Instead, they embraced it as a natural progression, a transformation into a new existence where deities like Duamatef played a vital role. Furthermore, Duamatef's role in the cosmic order, as a pillar of Shu and a rudder of heaven, reflects the Egyptians' deep engagement with the universe's mysteries. Their cosmology was not a distant abstraction but a living, breathing part of the daily existence. The movements of the heavens, the changing of the seasons, and the cycle of day and night were seen as manifestations of the divine, with gods like Duamatef orchestrating these celestial rhythms. In our modern quest for understanding, the legacy of Duamatef provides a rich source of inspiration and knowledge. By studying the beliefs and practices surrounding this ancient deity, we gain insights into the human condition, our relationship with the natural world, and the universal search for meaning. The ancient Egyptians, through their veneration of deities like Duamatef, teach us about the importance of harmony, balance, and respect for the cycles of life and death. As we delve deeper into the past, exploring the mysteries of ancient civilizations, we uncover not just historical facts but also enduring wisdom. The story of Duamatef is a reminder of our shared humanity, our connection to the past, and our ongoing journey in the tapestry of time. It encourages us to look beyond the material world, to explore the spiritual and the divine, and to find in our ancestors' beliefs and practices a source of guidance and inspiration for our own lives. In this way, the legacy of Duamatef and the ancient Egyptians continues to resonate, offering a timeless perspective on the human experience. Click like, subscribe, and share this channel.